I don't know what it is, but I can't think of an intro anymore. So I'm gonna get straight into this one. Um, in my last video, I fitted these Audi A3 S-Line seats to my Volkswagen Caddy. Um, so if you haven't been following this build already, you can click back in my playlist and you'll be able to see from start to the present moment where I am at with this build. Um, these seats, by the way, are absolutely amazing. I'm not just saying it, they are 10 out of 10 for comfort. I cannot fault them whatsoever and they look great. So if you've got a caddy and you want to change your seats or upgrade them, I would definitely recommend these. So what we're going to do in this video today is something similar that I'd done a while back, I'm talking nearly two years ago, to my Volkswagen Transport T5 where I fitted the side mouldings. Those were great and do you know what, the video got quite a big response. And as it happens, the manufacturer of those mouldings reached out to me recently and said um, that they loved the video and would I be interested in fitting some plastic mouldings to my caddy. And like most people, who doesn't like a freebie? Of course I accepted. They sent me out a rear guard for my bumper on the van, also some wing mirror covers and some door seal protectors. So what we'll do, I'll do a quick walk around the van, show you where I'm gonna be fitting the bits, show you the stuff that I've been sent, fit them to the van. And what I like about these, by the way, is they are so straightforward to fit. They just stick on. There's no drilling or screwing or anything like that. It is really a DIY job. The only thing which you must make sure of when you're fitting plastic things to your vehicle or mouldings is that the bodywork is very clean. So I've just had this old girl buffed up, polished up, looking nice and clean outside. So let's go around the van. I'll show you everything that we're gonna be doing. And if you're new here, my name's Darren. Welcome to my channel. Hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and let's get on with it. By the way, it's very windy today. So apologies in advance. I couldn't have picked a worse location if I'm honest, but yeah, such is life. So here she is. She's been professionally buffed up by the local car wash. Um, wing mirror covers are gonna go on the back here. Then we've got door seal protectors, which are gonna go along here. And then finally, we're gonna have a rear guard that goes right along the back bumper. I'm not enjoying that wind. My hair's blowing everywhere out there. Right, so we'll start with the wing mirror covers. Let's quickly crack these open and take a look. Okay, so we've got two wing mirror covers and we've got some instructions and a little bit of multi-purpose wipe, with some alcohol in it and some primer. Instructions here, which are very, very straightforward. All we've got to do is give the wing mirror a good clean and then apply the primer and let it set for roughly 10 minutes. My wing mirror is broken, by the way, but it doesn't matter because the cover's gonna go over the back, not the front, but no biggie. Now they're all clean, we can apply the primer. Right, now all I'm gonna do is apply the primer where it's gonna be stuck down to the mirror. So it's gonna be like underneath here and all around where these red bits will be stuck to on the mirror. I recommend you wear gloves doing this, by the way. So we're gonna have to give that like 10 minutes. And then you can fit your wing mirror covers. So the primer's all dry, I'm just gonna put that on. Look how easy that is. Spot on. So that is the wing mirror covers. I like it. Um, we'll go do a full walk around after, but we're going to open this up next, which is the door seal protectors. Let's see what's in there. You know what? I've been taken by surprise here. There's three door seal protectors. I thought it'd just be the driver's and passenger's side, but no, there's also one for the sliding door, which is amazing. I'm absolutely flabbergasted, to say the least. Uh, so we've got that, we've got some instructions. Just remember, they always write on there where they actually go. Tony's been very busy on these ones. So it's gonna be pretty much the same all round, but there's no primer for this one. It's literally just wipe and then peel back the sticky covers and then stick it down. And for goodness sake, make sure the surface is clean. Like you get it scrubbed properly and then use the degreaser. If you don't use a degreaser, it's not gonna stick. So don't moan if it doesn't stick if you haven't used the degreaser, all right? Look, it's in clear black and white writing, people. Make sure you do it. You've been told, yeah? Oh my God, look at the bloody state of that. That is in a right two and eight. I've just paid for a car wash and all. I don't know where this one actually goes. I think it must go across this top bit. It's not gonna go down there. The driver's side as well. Right, so I believe this one should go straight here like this. Always line them up and check first. 
line it up and make sure that this clips in like so. And there we go. One door seal protector. Make sure the door shuts now. Beautiful. So that is going to protect my door seals every time I get in and out of the van. So this is the rear left one. Let's line it up first. See where it feels most at home. Perfect. And then we have it, another door seal protector. Shuts fine as well. Beautiful. Right, and finally we can do the driver's side one, which should just go around here somewhere. Look at that, spot on. Right, so that's the wing mirror covers on and the door seal protectors. Now we're gonna do the rear guard on the bumper. Okay, so it's literally the same process as the wing mirror covers. Clean up the alcohol wipes and then obviously put the primer down afterwards. Make sure this is spotlessly clean, like right up to here. Right, now we've got to apply the primer. Because this is a bigger lump of plastic, I'm going to pull this about there, and the same about here, and get it right up in there, like that. Okay, so that is the rear guard fitted. Went on nice and easy. It is a bit of a struggle up here in the wind, but if you're doing it when it's not windy, you're gonna be laughing. But uh, gets rid of all the imperfections. Plus, if you're someone that carries like um, heavy tools in and out your van, that's gonna protect your bumper, especially if it's color coded. Take a look at that for a rear guard, eh? Makes the rest of the bumper look rubbish now. That was a bit of a mission to fit all that in the wind. But anyway, I think these bits look absolutely spot on. A big thank you to Richard Grant Moldins. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. It's rgmautomotive.co.uk, that's their website. They make these moldings for Volkswagen, they do them for uh, Fords, I think. They do them for like say Audis, they do it for it, like they literally make these moldings for so many different makes and models of vehicles. Um, go on there, take a look. They've got loads of different things for Volkswagen caddies, transporters, um, so on and so forth. So head over to their website, take a look. You can get these wing mirror covers in like carbon. You can get them in gloss black. And the same with the door seal protectors and the rear guards. They do different styles and variations on there. So I think that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you've got any questions, leave them down below in the comments area and see you all soon for the next one. Bye for now. Thanks mate.